What's going on my Kotaku Aesthetic family? Today, I'm gonna to be showing you guys vertical push-pull movements that involves shoulder movements and back movements and rear delt movements. So let's get right into it. First exercise, barbell shoulder press. What you wanna keep in mind is, you wanna flex your core, you wanna bring your neck forwards. Because when your neck is in one position, it's a lot of stress on your neck. So, we're gonna get right into the movement. So you wanna keep the rep range, six to eight reps, and try to increase the weight on every exercise. Exercise number two for your head top, wide grip, lat pull downs. What you want to keep in mind, you want to keep your chest out and you want to come full range of motion. So for this next particular movement, which is chest supported lateral raise, you can literally see that I take off my t-shirt and say for the culture, but soon after I was told to put my t-shirt back on. Anyways, for this particular movement, you want to ensure that your chest is fixed in position. You want to turn the dumbbell outwards, pointing outwards, explode up, go down slowly on a two to three second count and bang out 12 to 15 reps. Weight is not important in this movement as it can lead to shoulder injury. Try doing solid 12 to 15 reps and keep the weight at about 12 pounds, 15 pounds to 20 pounds because really it's more about the breathing and engaging your side delts in this particular movement. The next exercise is a single arm lat pull down which is a great isolation exercise for the back. What you wanna keep in mind is you wanna bend down on the knee to the side which you're gonna be performing the movement. So if I'm doing it on the right side first, I'll be bending on the right knee. Uh, slowly, slowly when you're contracting the muscle, you wanna ensure that when you're extracting is a full range of motion. And again, a two to three second count upwards and then contract back downwards and then switch to the left side and perform the exact same thing. All right, so for this next particular movement is called a cable lateral raise. A lot of people will not incorporate this into the workout. So what you want to keep in mind is you want to keep the bench at around 30 to 45 degrees, set the attachment at shoulder width apart, and you want to hold the cables cross-handed. Again, I emphasize weight, heavy weight is not important for growing your uh, side delts because if you do heavy weights, it can lead to shoulder tear. It's all about the mind-muscle connection with these exercises. All right guys, so for the last exercise, which is a machine movement for our rear delts, what you want to keep in mind is you want to go two thirds of the way and not extend to the full range of motion because I feel like when you extend full range of motion, it engages more of your back and it does not hit your rear delt as effectively. Um, so you want to go two thirds, like I said, um, you can do small weights. This one doesn't require heavy weights. Keep, for, keep the form good. Like I keep saying in every exercise, the weight's not important. It's more about your form, your movement, mind muscle connection and breathing. Enjoyed the video please follow my socials down below uh, stay tuned for my website I keep saying it's taking a little bit of time but I'm working on it diets exercise plan all coming out soon follow me on Instagram follow me on snapchat have a great day guys